Okay, in this video, I'll show you guys how to find the reference angles for the angle theta right here. And we have to first remember that the reference angle of an angle theta, it's the angle made from the terminal side of theta to the x-axis, okay? And because of this, the reference angle, it's always going to be in between of 0 to 90 degrees. And this right here, it's the notation for the reference angle of theta. We use theta prime for the reference angle. And also, the original angle theta, they cannot be quadrantal. They cannot be on the y-axis, nor the x-axis, okay? Anyway, let's start with the first one. Theta is equal to 200 degrees. And to do this kind of questions, draw a picture, okay? A picture helps so much. So now, start with the picture, and we will have the x-axis and the y-axis first. And this is the positive angle, and we are always going to start with the positive x-axis first. And because you have a positive angle, you rotate counterclockwise, okay? This direction right here. So we just have to keep track. Now, from here to here, that's 180 degrees. To get to 200 degrees, we have to go 20 degrees more, right? So I will just have to go down a little bit here. Let's say that's 20 degrees. And I will draw the terminal side from here to here. And remember, the reference angle, it's the angle from the terminal side to the x-axis. Okay, so I'll put that down right here for you guys. And that's exactly the 20 degrees that we mentioned the earlier, not much, okay? So this right here, it's a 20 degrees. So in another word, theta prime, the reference angle of that, it's equal to that angle, the 20 degrees, okay? So it's this one right here. Now, what if theta is equal to negative 100 degrees? Okay, so start with the picture. This time, we have negative 100 degrees. That means we have to go backwards. And backwards is clockwise. And just keep track. From here to here, this is backwards 90 degrees already. I will have to go down 10 more degrees, right? So I have to just go like this a little bit more, right? And I will form my terminal side like that. And remember, this to here is 100 degrees backwards, and from here to here, it's 10 degrees. But, remember, the reference angle is the terminal side to the x-axis, okay? So we care about this angle here. And now, it depends on what kind of math you would like to do. You can do it, this is 100, the whole thing was 180, 180 minus 100, this is 80 degrees, right? Or you can just look at this part. This part has to be a total of 90, and this is 10 already, so this has to be 80. So it depends on how you want to look at it. But anyway, here is the answer. Theta prime, the reference angle for this one, it's positive 80 degrees, like that. Now moving on to negative 410 degrees. So now we'll see. Same thing, start with the positive x-axis, rotate clockwise, and keep track. From here to here, this is backwards 360. I will have to go 50 degrees more to get to 410 degrees, right? So I have to go 50 degrees more like that, okay? So this much is 50 degrees. And here is the terminal side. So, you know, go backwards 110 degrees like that. And in fact, this angle right here is exactly the reference angle 50 degrees because it's from the terminal side to the x-axis. So theta prime is equal to positive 50 degrees. Okay, positive 50 degrees. And let me write it down better for you guys. This right here is the 50 degrees. Okay, lastly, 390 degrees, and this is positive angle. Start with the positive x-axis, rotate, counterclockwise, and this much here is 360 already. I will have to go 30 degrees more like that, right? And I will draw the terminal side like this. And I mentioned 30 degrees here, and that's exactly from the terminal side to the x-axis. So this right here, the 30 degrees, it's the reference angle. So the answer here, 
theta prime equals to 30 degrees. And with this, we are done. And you can leave a comment down below and let me know if you guys have any questions with this. But at the moment, this is it.